been talking to our cancer heroes all morning long. This is another one right here. This is Travis Cook and his mom, Beth. Travis has been living with an inoperable brain tumor for half of your life almost. You found out at eight years old, 2010. Take us back to that time because you really found out in a way I can't describe in any other way besides fate. How did it happen? Um, well, I was very young and I didn't have any symptoms, so there was no way of telling that my brain tumor was there. But one night I um, fell off the porch and hit my head really hard. And when I came back in, I had bad head pain and my pupils were dilated. So my mom thought I had a concussion. And so you thought you only had a concussion and you went to yeah. the hospital, but you found something else out. Yeah. What did you find out? Um, well, we didn't find it right away. There was a lot of tests mm -hmm. and unknown, like it could be this, it could be that. We're not quite sure. Um, it took a while to actually get the call that said, yeah, you have a brain tumor and you need later. to get yeah. treatment for it. So a week later, but it didn't grow until two years. Right. Yeah. So what happened? Um, well, mm -hmm. when they found it, it was um, not progressing. It was not malignant. It was stable. Um, yeah. And it had grown. It came grown. to a point where yeah. you had to had to undergo treatment. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And it was effective years it grew treatment. a little. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been effective, right? Yeah. I went on treatment for just about two years, and it stopped the growth, and it hasn't grown since. And one more thing before we toss it over to Jim. Your doctors at CHOP have inspired you. How so? Um, well, just seeing what they do for kids and the difference they make and kind of hope they bring. Yeah. It's and you want to be a doctor. Yes. And study this when you grow up. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, guys. This is why we're here.